My name is Natalie Fobes, and I have a project called Salmon in the Trees. And the point of my project, of my exhibit of 552 flags, is to remind people of the importance of salmon to the environment and not just the streams. I started as a photographer working for newspapers. I worked in Cincinnati and I worked at the Seattle Times here in Seattle. My first book was Reaching Home, Pacific Salmon, Pacific People. A culmination of those, what, 10 years of wandering around photographing salmon and the cultures of the salmon. The photographs I used for the flags were taken over a 17-year period. I mean, the oldest photograph I have on there is from 1983, and the newest one is from just last fall. Now this is a sockeye. Is this guy nice looking or what? I mean, he is big and he's a bruiser. The sockeye salmon, they're kind of like actors and actresses. They kind of like to strut their stuff when, when you photograph them underwater. And basically, I lie in the rivers and streams waiting for those pesky salmon to cooperate. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. It is fantastic to be underwater with salmon. You are in their world. I knew I wanted to do something different than what I have done in the past, which is basically exhibit. I wanted uh, somehow to kind of try something new. And the idea that this was a temporary installation, that it didn't have to be archival, or last for a hundred years, you know, that really freed me up to start thinking seriously about some alternative way of, photograph of showing my photographs. And I started thinking, well, gee, maybe I could do that now. Maybe I can put the images of salmon on the fabric, sew little flags out of them, hang them, hundreds of them, in trees, and when people walk by, they would think about salmon in the trees. The location was spectacular. I mean, the grove of trees is just like a natural gallery. You know, we forget that this was the center of the salmon's country, and we are all salmon people.